Okay, today I want to show the uh, relationship between your team folders and the users and how permissions work between the two. So uh, I have a couple of users here, the uh, admin and just a regular user. And then I have a folder called billing. Now if you go into the folder, um, let's say we go to edit that, you could see that um, the assistant is in here and uh, they're a collaborator and I can add other collaborators. Now I don't have to add the uh, admin because admins have access to the folders and the users by default. So uh, if I go into the team folders um, we can edit the folder and in here we have uh, collaborators, external sharing, folder permission, settings. There's a lot going on here. Two-way sync, uh, storage, and uh, we can uh, use this to migrate the storage to another location. This is a abbreviation for the user. We can look at this in different ways. Uh, we can click this icon to switch to a list view and hit this again to go back to the thumbnail view. We can use this to exit and go back to the tenant dashboard. Now I have these two users so I'm going to add one more. I'll leave the quota to zero, uh, which means unlimited. I'll go ahead and enter a simple password since this is uh, just an experiment. And I want to um, give permission to this user, read and write. So now I have the two users if I go into the billing folder. So I have my two collaborators here. And um, if we look under folder permissions, you can see there's nothing in here. Uh, your instinct might be that um, you need to assign permissions to your users. Uh, but having them in the collaborator section is sufficient to give them full access. And if you click your folder permissions tab, you can see no permission was set for the folder. All team users have full access by default. Admin user always has full access. Now you can add permissions by clicking this settings button and then um, it says no permission was set for the folder. All team, fold all team users have full access. By default admin user always has full access. These are essentially warnings because once you add a user in here, it changes things. So let's go back to the dashboard here. And uh, what I'm going to do is use another browser to log in um, as one of my users. So we'll log in as So I've logged in as one of my users, um, Associate Jones here. And in the billing folder, we can see some files. And uh, we actually see the billing folder, which is something that I want to draw your attention to. Um, the reason he sees the billing folder is because he's a uh, collaborator along with uh, Assistant. Uh, let me go to list view here along with um, Assistant Brokovich, Associate Jones is a collaborator. Okay, so if I go back to my tenant dashboard, okay, so I'm going to add another folder. We'll use existing tenant storage, default, and uh, we'll call this contracts. And for this one, I will select don't show folder user doesn't have permission to access. And we'll hit create. 
Uh, it says team folder will not be visible to users until the users groups are added as collaborators. Uh, so there are no collaborators here. Remember, it uh, looks like this usually. Uh, I have it in list view. I'm going to go ahead and add a collaborator. We'll add um, Assistant Brokovich. Hit done. And we'll save that. Okay, now we go over here, and if I hit refresh, it doesn't change. But if I go ahead and add Associate Jones, and go back here and hit refresh, now the contracts folder is visible. So, um, what if I want to limit access? Okay, so maybe uh, Associate Associate Jones is allowed to uh, look at billing, but not allowed to edit or delete things in billing. Okay, so we go into the billing folder, and uh, we've got some files here. And right now you can see that I have edit authority in here because I can create folders and files in that folder. <clears throat> now, uh, if I want to restrict Associate Jones in some way, then I could go to folder permissions and now add permissions. So once I've enabled uh, the editing, I can hit add user and I can go ahead and add both of these. Let's see, let's just add uh, Associate Jones. We hit done. And uh, I don't want them to be able to write or delete. And then I hit apply. Okay. Now I come back over here and I hit refresh and uh, we go into the contracts folder and now that's ghosted I can't write anything in this folder so it's not going to give me access so I go back into the contracts folder and I want to edit those permissions and I want to give him uh, uh, write and delete and hit apply and come back over here now if I refresh I now have the ability to drop files in here and I can create files as well so um, the problem is that in the collaborators area I have two people and in the folder permissions area I only have one. So what is Assistant Brokovich going to see? Well let's log this user out. And we see that Brokovich can no longer see the contracts folder. Okay, because even though I've added um, this user as a collaborator, I don't have the user under my folder permissions, so they're not going to be able to see it. Now, if I edit this and remove this user from permissions, now all users that are collaborators have full access. So if I hit refresh, that comes back. Okay. So you can see that it's important to understand the difference between a collaborator and someone with permissions. Uh, permissions give you some granularity, uh, fine control over how your users can access the folder. But if you intend for your users that are in collaborators to have access, you must enter a a line or an item for each user under folder permissions if you add any users under folder permissions. So I hope that was clear uh, and it was helpful for you and uh, see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.